Currently, the only way to diagnose CTE is by examining the brain after death. Now a new procedure might be able to detect it in life. You know, they donate the brains to research and uh, then we will take slices of the brain. After one of his own family members started showing signs of CTE. So you have here, you have just a, basically a brain slice. Dr. Diego Mastroeni, assistant research so, professor at ASU, started looking for a better way to test for it. What we do is first we try to diagnose individuals just by looking under the microscope at their at these images. In collaboration with other doctors, Mastroeni injected a special radioactive dye into 26 retired football players. From there, the dye goes into the brain. And it would attach to these abnormal proteins that are found in individuals with CTE and then we could take a picture of it and then we can tell you how much you have of it and where it is in the brain. For the first time, they could see CTE damage in living patients. He says knowing it's there is the first step in treating it. Just to be able to follow the disease process and also for uh, drug intervention. So the utility of medications, are they actually working? Are they helping the patient? And he says for patients who may be struggling with the frightening symptoms of CTE, just having a diagnosis can be comforting. Yeah, I think we all want to know why or what we have and what's going on. We just want answers. Um, and not only important for them in terms of clinically, but spiritually or maybe they could prepare for something. The next step is getting 100 more players to sign up to take this test. They would need more funding to make that possible. Lauren Reimer for Arizona's Family.